here with Chef Lee today. Hi guys. Um, Chef Lee is going to teach you how to make a vegan meatloaf. Lee, take us through the ingredients first, please. Yes, you have the fine diced onion, as I've said before. Just finely dice it, guys. Take your time with it, or you can put it in a wee food processor and just pulse it. Lovely. That will work. Tomato puree, uh, tomato ketchup, Worcestershire sauce. Where's, it's where's saying. Your, <laughs> where's your sister sauce? <laughs> Salt, pepper, the breadcrumbs, the beyond mince, uh, thyme, sage, garlic granules, and fresh chopped parsley. Can I ask about the breadcrumbs? Did you just crumble them up yourself or buy them? Oh, you, you can buy soft breadcrumbs, but I, I had some leftover soft bread there and I just blitzed it, 160 grams I think it is in the recipe, mm -hmm. and I just weighed it out. Perfect. Right, so we're going to start off here, guys. This is the vegan uh, butter. So it's a tablespoon of vegan butter. Oh, and I actually meant to ask you as well what equipment would they need for this recipe? Sorry, so you're going to need a small pot or even a, a small frying pan would do lovely. You're going to need a mixing bowl and yep. you're going to need a baking tray lovely. for roasting. Okay, awesome. But with this recipe, guys, uh, this needs to set in the fridge for two to three hours. I mean, so whenever uh, you can take the cling film off it and then you can pop it in the oven Great. and roast it. But we'll talk about that yeah. further down the line. So with this recipe, you'll have like the recipe <clears> cards. <throat> you will just need to leave a little bit more time for the setting time. Or even, you know, if we're making this specifically, say, for Christmas Day, start making this Christmas Eve to set overnight, would you yeah, say? Yeah, you can make this two days prior at home, no problem at all. Okay. Yeah, honestly, just make Christmas easy for yourself because if you're going to do all the stuff that I've showed you how to make, like a lot of it can do, be done with mise en place, so have it all prepared, ready to go. So you're getting on Christmas morning, your gravy's done, your meatloaf's just in the oven, your roast potatoes are already in the oven, you're making your creamed potato, and your gravy's good to go. Brilliant, easy peasy. Yeah. Right, so you can hear the sound there, guys. That's up the temperature there. Straight up with the onions. Any preference, you can white onion over red onion? You can use whatever you want. Whatever okay. You want. It won't do it any harm. Different taste, the redder onion will just be sweeter. So she used to want me stamping here for the next five to seven minutes, mm -hmm. tossing the pan of onions. So five to seven minutes, guys, medium to low heat, and that'll be good to go. So our onions are looking ready now. Will we have a look at them? Let's go. These have been on for about five, six minutes, guys. And you want them soft, translucent, and starting to go cool and brown. That's all you want. Did you give them just, a little stir every now and again? I've just been standing stirring them. I just okay. didn't want these guys standing watching me stirring them. I'm not paying much attention to you while you're doing that. Too busy eating. I know, I was. <laughs> but uh, it, it brings out the natural sweetness of the onion also, guys. So I'm just going in with the sage, thyme, the garlic granules. Lovely. This is really easy, as we meet loaf is really, really simple. Let that cook out for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then you're coming over to the bowl. So it's got the freshly chopped parsley. So you can give us a wee spoon Yes, what will take? Uh, just a wee dessert spoon, I'll take over. Do you know what? I'll just use this. Yeah, it's great. All right, so that's the worst. Sorry, you wish. Do you have a question if you have mind? Yeah. Um, what's the difference between, was it garlic granules? Or yeah. garlic powder. Is there is there a difference? One's just powdered down a bit more. One's one one will actually sparse its flavour more. As with the, the granules, it's more granulated. It's more of a like a uh, what would we try to say? It's more coarse. Okay. So what would we be using this recipe? We I've used the garlic granules. Okay. Yeah. So then and with the mince, tomato puree, and the tomato ketchup, and then in with the onion mix. I put the salt and pepper in there also, guys. Sorry, in case you still didn't see. Can you smell the, is it the rosemary? It's oh, sage. 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 Sage, just like a stuffing. And then in with the breadcrumbs, guys. And once again, ready made or maybe with your own. Blend them up, yeah? Yep, yeah, soft breadcrumbs, you can buy them anywhere. And then you're just incorporating it all. If you're doing your own breadcrumbs, um, do you have to say, like, leave your bread, like, so many, like, Days, you know, no, no, fresh no. bread or no, it's soft bread crumbs. You want the fresh so, bread. So no, the, 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 the bread you make sandwiches with. Yes. So just, that's what you want. Okay. It's soft, so it blitzes and it's nice and soft. If you were to use hard bread crumbs, it would be so dry and ah. stale. Like bread crumbs, hard bread crumbs are for like bread crumb and things like chicken or like that's side what I'm thinking about. Yeah. So that's it. There, it's all starting to combine now. As I say, guys, you could use your hands if you want, get a rubber glove on, or if you're alright with your hands getting dirty, as long as they're clean, they're sanitary. It's no problem at all. Best tools in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. 
So sort of mixing and flattening a little bit, I guess. Just mixing, right? incorporating it all, making sure it's all completely even. So you're not getting one part of it's got more seeds than the other. Mm. So then you're over here, guys, and then just quick oh. clean for them. Just, blowing that uh -huh. on. just on top of the clean foam here. So, is this where we're going to give it the shape? Yep. So, basically, just putting it on top of the clean foam, giving it a rough shape, doesn't have to be perfect. And then, once you clean your hands, and then you just roll it over, making sure you don't go under your clean foam because then sometimes it can, your clean foam can get folded into the meatloaf. Then when you're cutting it, you're getting bits of clean foam. Mm -hmm. So always make sure you're pulling the clean foam right, guys. And then roll it, put it on the sides, roll that over, roll it again. Is there any, just thinking off the top of my head, any alternatives to clean foam? Just kind of the parchment paper again? Yeah, or yeah you can put it on the tray and you can form it really like that. If you're not worried about presentation or slicing it, everybody's happy just taking like scoops out of it. You could do that. But just take your timer, give it an extra wee bit of love, care, and attention. So this will, in the clean foam really helps it stick together more? That's it. So that's it nice and firm. Once that goes into the fridge for two hours, all the, the, the butter and the fats and stuff will all solidify and make your side become more uh, hard. Okay. So at least two hours, but would it do, do it any harm? I think, did you say, could you could you let this for like a day, two days, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got two days in advance, guys, and then pop it in the oven when you're ready for it. Brilliant. So we are going to let it set, and then we will show you the next step. Okay, so the meatloaf is set, and we're on to some searing. Searing, yeah. Next stage, last stage, guys. Uh, so this is it set, guys. I've just taken it out of its cling film. and see it's nice and firm here. So I'm just going to the pan. Pan's on a medium to high heat. You want to do it really quick. That's the sizzle that you want. No, no oil? No oil. Plenty of oil in this. Oh, to be honest, yes. it's quite uh, oily. And then you've got the, the vegan butter on it also. So you just, this is just another wee process that I've done as a chef. It stays to finish things off properly. So when you set it in the middle of the table, it's nice and golden brown and once it comes out of the oven is. But this is totally fine to do, guys, if you just want to take it out of the clean foam, put it on a baking tray and bake it in the oven. So this is more for like a presentation, presentation again, but if they wanted to, just straight into the oven. Exactly. Oh, nice. It's golden brown. Yep. That's just starting off the flavour. Lovely. I make these most Sundays for Ken, so I'm not too sure if she sears them. And she just puts them in the oven. Um, just personal preference. Yeah. Under the side. It's what, really 10, 15, 15, maybe 15 seconds at the most for yeah, the side? Yeah, 10, 15 to 30 seconds on all angles. As I said, it's just another process to do. At the moment, our oven is heating up. Can you remember temperature? Don't worry, you can. Uh, it's in the spot. <laughs> Was it two. one? No, 200 or 210? 210, uh, 390 Fahrenheit. Yeah. That might be incorrect. <laughs> so yeah. check our recipe card. Check I, recipe I did put me on the, on the spot there and I forgot myself. So check the recipe card, but we've got our oven heating up at the moment. Looking good. I'm hoping for that, guys. Brilliant. And then... If you want, leave it more salt and pepper, but I'm happy. I've tried that recipe many, many times. Don't think it needs it. And then it just goes in the oven. And it's for 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, check the temperature on the recipe card. Yeah. And done? Done. Once it is... So are you better... Um, so say you're prepping ahead. Are you better to get to the stage where it's setting and then keep it until you're cooking? Or could you bake it like this and then keep for a couple of days? I, it, make any it needs to set before you sear. It okay. needs to go into the fridge for a couple of hours to sear because that holds all the fats and all start to become solid. Yeah. And it's easier to sear. If you were just trying to sear that right away, it would just crumble on you. So sear it after. And then you can sear it and freeze it or sear it and put it in the fridge. So you're just putting it into the oven. But keep the actual oven process until, until just before you're going to serve it. Sure. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Once it's in the oven, once it comes out, that's it. Brilliant. All right, and another amazing recipe and um, a lovely main for, again, Christmas, Sunday dinners, anything like that. And as you said, Kim, Kim pretty much does it every Sunday. Oh, she loves it. Yeah. It's it's a it also. Brilliant. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you.